folks, and welcome back to another episode of Now Prep Spotlight, brought to you by 911 Air Repair, your local air conditioning expert specializing in maintenance, repair, and new installations. Like we did last week, we're just going to continue on with this trend of just giving you guys the game of the week breakdown. I feel like, you know, it's quicker, and hey, you guys won't get bored with just hearing us talk for however long we go. So our game of the week is going to be out in Santan Valley. It is Combs. They are going to be at Post and Butte. And, you know, earlier during the season, it was during the season, although it doesn't really count, um, there was the Eddie Martinez Invitational Tournament out at Florence, and these two teams participated. And unfortunately for us, we didn't get a preview of this matchup because the, the two teams didn't end up playing each other, but we did get to see both of them individually. And just, David, uh, what are you expecting from this game? Well, I mean, with the Eddie Martinez Invitational, Post Mute was able to come out on top in that one, and they had a really good performance. But I don't think it's necessarily translated to the regular season. I mean, they're sitting at two or three and seven right now in the regular season, and it's just it's been a little bit of tough sledding. Uh, they're they're going through some some growing pains of having a, a new head coach and Ricky Jordan and these guys trying to buy into what he wants to implement into the team. But they have some solid pieces. Uh, I, I really want to shout out Dutch Martinez. Uh, he's their point guard. He is their top leading scorer with eighteen point two points per game. He's not. Necessarily a passing guard. He's more of the of a, of, a, of a scoring dominant point guard. He's only averaging about two and a half assists per game. So their assists and their their, their sharing the ball is kind of coming from elsewhere. But when Dutch is able to to really lock in on his scoring ability, he is a, he's the top guy for them, and it really helps them out moving forward. Um, a, a lesser known guy I want to shout out is Connor Martin. He's a really solid piece for them as a senior. He's got he's only averaging five point nine points, but he's the kind of guy that his his abilities and, and his and his value to the team is not going to show up in the stat sheet. It is just he is a great passer for a big man. He's about you know I would want to say about six five. He's really good at being able to find guys in open lanes and really drive and then also dish out for an open three for uh, for the wing players. So I really like what he brings to this team. He's a solid facilitator and a good leader for this team. Uh, on the Combs side, I want to shout out Jay Lujan. He's averaging. 14.4 points per game, and then Logan Tuckfield as well. This is a one-two punch for this home squad that has done pretty well for themselves. They're four and five right now. They're kind of on the cusp. If they can continue to finish out the season pretty strong, they could possibly get a play-in spot for them. But, you know, these two guys are just absolutely lethal from three. Uh, Lujan is averaging, uh, I believe it was a 39% three-point percentage. Tuckfield, 47%, uh, percent, and they are leading the team in three-pointers made as well, both at 56. So this is a team that loves to shoot the three and get shooters open. Uh, they're defensive-minded, but then when they're on the offensive end, they're looking to get their shooters open and find some open looks. So uh, I'm expecting a great matchup between these two teams. It's always great when Combs and Post and Butte battle it out. It is that kind of crosstown rivalry feel for this game, and it's going to be fun to see who comes out on top. Well, David took all my talking points here, so um, just quickly want to add, Combs is playing for something bigger this season. Um, unfortunately for them, they lost one of their teammates in Preston Moore to uh, just a tremendous tragic um, incident. So this season is bigger than the Combs team. They are powering through and they are playing for Preston Moore. And, you know, that's kind of shown throughout the whole season. Um, like David mentioned, all their top scores and everything, they're putting, like they're playing for something bigger. And this uh, game here against one of their rivals, it's it's a, it's a big deal. Um, you know, unfortunately, both Post and Ancombe are kind of towards the bottom end of the AIA power rankings outside of that, those uh, top 24 teams and the bubbles. So, you know, this is more about bragging rights out in Santan Valley and which team um, can reign supreme here. Uh, David will be at this game, so be sure to check out Pinal Central over the weekend, over the week, just to read up on this game and all of our other winter sports coverage.